Hey everybody, for those of you who don't know me, or I see me in some of the videos, um, my name is David Lassley, I'm Steve Lassley's son. I do all the... He's behind the camera. Yeah, I normally do all the videography cool. um, yeah. for Bad Company Fishing Adventures. Me and my dad just showed up last night, flew into Cairns. So yeah, the past week and a half, we took care of our mechanical issues, got new props, got new uh, refrigeration units, compressors, uh, took care of a lot of TLC stuff on the boat, got her super dialed in, and we're just pretty fired up to be back here and give it another go. We are about to head to Cooktown in about 30 minutes, I think, and then uh, from there we're going to head up to Lizard Island where we will meet Anthony, who's going to fly in on a helicopter. Uh, airplane. Oh, airplane, flying in on an airplane. It's so in tomorrow afternoon, like 3 o'clock. Yeah, so uh, we're super excited for this trip. Looks like it's just going to be me and Kevin for the most part in the cockpit this time. So uh, we appreciate Riley Page showing us how to rig all those baits on the last trip. Uh, definitely going to help us on this one. So yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Right now. Right now. shark just swam by. Uh, we've got fuel here in Cooktown. We are uh, set up the Starlink so we got communications hopefully. It works great here. Lightning fast speed unlike KV8. And uh, had some really good fishing last night. Got a couple barramundi and some tarpon looking things. Broke a couple off, broke one off probably over 30 pounds on a little swim bait like we use for bay bass back home, so that was super fun. Bought this rod yesterday and put it to good use. Now we're heading to Lizard Island and pick up Anthony, he's flying in and we're going to be off. Black Marlin fishing. That's it. Today 
in day one, we're at Lizard Island, world famous. Lots of history here. And uh, we're just heading out now. Yesterday I got in, the boys got in a couple days before, and they cheated on me. They, 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 they really cheated on me. Two different occasions. Number one is they caught a black marlin without me yesterday. And number two, one of the things I wanted to do is catch a baby black marlin and they caught one yesterday. So I don't know. They said that they, they caught it on, on accident, but I'm not I'm not so sure because Steve now said that he had he thinks he had multiple bites yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they got a little baby around 50 pounds yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You know, come clean. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I mean, we were out there catching some scaly mackerel and and uh, a few queen fish and stuff. And this thing bites this little spoon we had out. Flat it for 10, 15, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. We let her just our little, like a marlin caster, 30 pound, 30, 50 pound leader. Dodging bombies. Dodging bombies and the little sucker kept going right for all the high spots. Had to drive around a few of those. And pretty fun. I just had a couple of reports at the top of number 10 there between first and second corner. The water's cleared up. And uh, one of the boys had four bites there yesterday and caught a couple. Um, a lot of boys were marking it good yesterday afternoon late. So we're going to go and fish there for today. Um, and if, if they are turning up there, we'll, we'll probably stay here. We'll probably take the mothership out to No Name Reef, which is right near the edge there at the top of number 10 ribbon. We'll park it there for the, uh, for the duration of the, uh, of the fishery. So, you know, by the look of it there, it's going to start happening all the way along the reef. The tides are getting better, the moon phase is getting better. We're coming very close to they should be turning up there. We need a bit of wind to actually start funneling them back into the reef there. Um, that starts in about two days' time. So, and by the way, for those of you that do, are not familiar with uh, the Great Barrier Reef, as you can tell, it's mid-morning. We seem like we're still farting around, not being in a hurry. That's just the way it is here. So, the fish doesn't come up on the reef until what noon? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never. I could probably count on two hands the amount of fish I've caught before 11 o'clock in the morning up here. So it's. The fish tend to come into the shallows there, black marlin there, they come up into the shallows later in the day, the more chance we've got of seeing them up in the shallows there, they come up to feed and, and ambush everything against the edge of the reef there, so that's why we don't generally start early. That's why it seems like we're not in a hurry, it's because we are not in a hurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, did, uh, we did a lot of prepping, we picked up a lot of baits, Hoggy gave us a good lesson, got David and I tuned up. It's more this morning. We're ready to go. Yeah. Life makes it a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but if you want to catch sharks, this place is the best place to catch sharks in the world because they love live bait. There you go. All right. Good? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
What's for lunch? <laughs> well, that's a kangaroo pie right there. Kangaroo pie. It's on the right, they said. guys <laughs> put your hats backwards or something because your eyes are oh. covered hey here we are day two fishing louder we left the uh, southern sector of the ribbon tent and moved north a little bit to the top end got him and uh, had a bite on the way up here, three or four hundred pound fish. It wasn't really a bite, we just kind of raised it. And then we saw another one that was probably 500. Yeah. And uh, just raised it too, it didn't really eat anything. Kept moving north a little bit. And uh, had some pretty good sonar fishing late today, maybe found like eight fish or something. Had four on the sonar at one time, spun around on it, got a bite out of one and caught it, a couple hundred pounds. And uh, that's pretty much the recap for the day. We didn't really, it felt productive. Yeah. We were trying some new stuff, gonna pitch on some, when we raised them on the skip baits, we were gonna pitch a livey on them, kind of. We'll figure that out tomorrow. We're gonna chum it up. Okay. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Boom. Bottom fishing. Enjoying the uh, adventure, we're enjoying 
the senior year, joined the country, and the reef is uh, obviously amazing. But uh, it's, it's been challenging. Uh, we've had a few bites uh, so far for this trip after seven days. Three small black marlin did bull hooks on two larger models, but we didn't see them. Uh, fishing circle bugs. And, uh, you know, just sometimes just pull the, these big baits right out. We tried short drop bags, long drop bags, and if you feed long drags, or heavy drags, or light drags, we tried everything. So, we're trying to get our rhythm here.
bottom. Back Down up. through the jaw? Yeah. yeah. Up, baby. Yeah. Got that feed on video pretty good. Good. Good job, Slaybug. Thanks. Nice job, Hog. Good job, Hog. Unfortunately today it uh, marks the end of our um, second trip and our first season in Australia. We learned a lot, um, just had a string of, of bad luck and uh, fishing was not uh, not that great for us but uh, no regrets man. World tour is not easy. This is trip six and we were just talking that um, out of six trips we ended four short combination of logistics and weather and, and things like that but it's been a little bit of a challenge with just a combination of all things but that's just fishing and that's just traveling and that's just going to a foreign land not just Australia but uh, an experience and adventure what's next on the, the tour for us is uh, South Atlantic uh, January February and March and then uh, April we shift to Cape Verde so that's the plan. All subject to change, right guys? At this point, just yes, go with sir. the flow. Highly adaptable. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Longevity, safety, and flexibility. The adventure. It's all part, yeah. We'll it's see. all part of the adventure. We'll see if it makes Nobody it. got hurt? Nobody, Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Survive. Yep. Yeah. The good news is when we come back next year, the black one would be a little larger. That's right. <laughs>